Greetings friends! After almost three days off, I am back with another episode of 300 series. First, I am sorry that it took some time to record another episode, but recently uh, I have a little bit uh, problem with my time schedule. It's a work-related thing, but soon should be over because we have tax day in our in my country. And hopefully next week I will be back in a regular uh, recording uh, those episodes. After this uh, uh, explanation why I, I wasn't here for three days, uh, let me comment some of your comments. Yeah, comment your comments. First, uh, Rubberball10 uh, says uh, that he cannot wait until I will start with Black Science Pack 3 because uh, I should be ready to go big brain time. Yeah, I also can wait uh, for tier 3 of space uh, of deep space science. It will be definitely fun. Then, uh, Dominic, hello Dominic. Uh, thank you for your comments and your advice. Uh, why I don't use lasers from K2 on an uh, Yeah, you mean like those uh, where they are. Okay, you mean why I don't use laser artillery turret on an OS. Yeah, actually it's not so bad idea. Maybe I should start to producing some of those and uh deploy them around our perimeter because these uh biters are quite annoying lately and the second uh comment from dominic it's that i should send the stone back to nowis but honestly i think i have still some feeling that we will need the, those stones which we are uh, right now uh, storing in those container warehouses or containers. Yeah, at least I can use it in the late game to convert, I hope, into the energy and then produce something from that energy. Something more important up here and avoid the necessary to transport that thing up here. So, for that reason, right now I am postponing to deal with those, uh, deal with that many stone up here. And why I have lots of those around here. Okay, robots, please clear all those. Also, then give me that one scaffolding plate. Okay, so back to today's episode. First, uh, I don't have time to um, record a new episode, but I find a little bit time to play with those uh, antimatter reactors. So, I built two testing facilities. For one, one, first one is this one with one antimatter reactor, one high temperature heat exchanger, and of course one high temperature turbine generator because especially these turbine generators and condensed turbines missing some description so i actually don't know what the, are their inputs and outputs so i need to test it and the result are that if you're using this antimatter reactor this antimatter reactor can produce only like 400 megawatt of power and these the high temperature heat exchanger can produce maximally 560 megawatt at this row written over there so that's mean if you're using more than 400 megawatts of power right now i am right on that edge everything is fine but if i up and see this turbine it's uh, buffering or it's uh, on the level with the production so everything's working fine the water it's mostly i would say not constant uh, 
but it's slowly, really slowly miss. Uh, uh, we are slowly losing that water from the system because I think these can return only 80% or something like that. I saw the description somewhere, maybe in Tech 3. If I look, I know I can uh, steam. No. Turbines, turbines, condensed turbines. They have 75 energy efficiency. Uh, and 99% is actually return like like water and have the same output as the normal ones okay there is the, the description and these can produce one gigawatt and also returning 99 water and they are 99 energy efficient okay that's great so uh, as i said if you're using one antimatter reactor you can load this turbine and this uh, heat exchanger only up to 400 megawatts which actually i am doing right now 400 megawatts and everything it's in balance if i put a little bit more uh, load on that system so i will put some of those okay even more like that, that. so now we are using let's add 100 megawatts above the threshold this is going down almost immediately this stop catching up with the production of steam as you can see it generates steam after a while and this start to cooling down because you are using too much heat to produce that steam so if you want to utilize this high temperature turbine up to one gigawatt you cannot use only one 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 setup you need to use something different and for that reason i test this even though if i remove that and up only 10 percent above the threshold it's still going down and this slowly using more and more steam until it's in the state when actually do some sinus wave of production and then completely stop so uh so one to one to one it's not definitely ideal setup however if you need to put those into the small area maybe it's usable if we compare this to the nuclear uh nuclear fuel to nuclear power plant it's definitely better at least in the terms of saving water and the space because you need only that one uh, turbine generator or these three turbines actually you need only one of those but if you use only one it after some time start uh, it's getting to have problem to condensing the steam and it will uh, stuck with that so it's definitely necessary to use these two even though they are not fully utilized utilized the whole time back to the setup with two of those now you can see i use two gen two antimatter reactor two high temperature heat exchangers and two high temperature turbine generator with uh, each of these generator have two of these condensated condensation turbines over there we still have mostly uh, balance the water usage we producing actually even a little bit more uh, if we compare with the one to one because we have now 100% neighbor bonus so if you put two of those uh, close each other you receive some bonus so right now these two producing 800 megawatts plus it should have produce another 80 megawatts like the bonus with that we have like 916 megawatts of heat with that we can use the two of those and each can produce those almost those 560 megawatts 
Okay. So, if you... Simply. Oh, thank you. Auto save. If you use two of those, two of those reactors, you can use two of those heat exchangers, and of course, two of these high temperature turbines. And you should be able to do something like one gigawatt plus energy. You still cannot utilize those up to two gigawatts, as you can see, because right now. I have lots of those uh, beacons. I use beacons because each beacon using like 10 megawatts. So together this is using uh, one gigawatt and 390 megawatts. And as you can see, we have probable to produce again. However, if I calculate with that 960 megawatts of electricity, I should be able to receive something like the little bit over or around the gigawatt of electricity from this setup. We need to wait a little bit. Okay, maybe even more of those I need to remove. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Now. Lucky, luckily for us, these can now uh, hold the temperature, which is fine. These can hold the maximum output, but these two cannot feed the two of those turbines. in the full load so we need to lower the request or lower the the drain drain of the electricity somewhere around one gigawatts i think then everything stabilized yeah 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 here it is see now we're using one gigawatts and this producing something between and after a while, I think these should even produce constant energy. The both should cons produce constant energy. Right now, one of those uh, regular uh, turning itself off. So, oh, that's uh, the result of testing, I think. So, if you want one gigawatt energy, you need to use this setup. And here we go. Even though this will uh, say that you can produce two gigawatts. So, um, uh, if we conclude the, the, the discoveries, uh, maybe if you use like four of those uh, antimatter reactor and four of these high temperature heat exchanger you will be able to fully utilize two of those high temperature turbines and produce two gigawatts of electricity okay but for our spaceship i think this will be actually enough we don't i think we will not need more than 400 megawatts uh, up to what is producing by our uh, solar panels and store in our in uh, those uh, transformators and uh, not transformators uh, sorry i mean we what we can store in our accumulators so this small setup should be fine and it's definitely the best way how to produce electricity on spaceship especially because it's mostly negate all the problem with water if i took a little bit of water like this one full tank which is not problem i think i can produce electricity from that water for a long long time so with that uh, i will end the capital this capital uh, this 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 part of this video when i try to explain what is better and how this system works and thank you for your patience uh, with my explanation. Yeah, because that was a horrible, I know. Now, back uh, to the regular production over here.
Before I forget, we need to continue with upgrading those solar panels. Right now, we should produce 29.5 gigawatt of electricity. We already upgraded this first lane of this first part of the solar panels. But we need a little bit more. Oh, not that one. So before I do anything else, I will take my upgrade planner and set to upgrade another row of those of these flat solar panels okay we should have everything there everything for producing those because uh, as we play with our spaceship what the hell happening there we need to check that before I can continue with anything else we save a lot of those we have 3.2k of Naquim cube which is great and definitely help us with those upgrades and now I want to return actually for now uh, I, I uh, not uh, keep the main grid connected to those so now I can connect them like that and for now they can produce energy for uh, our for our space platform yeah and maybe I should remove all those there these are definitely unnecessary to have so something like that give me that also those that one that one i leave those over here to see how they uh, deal with the with the water for some time yeah, and now all that water is converted into the steam but these turbines are full of steam so it should be uh, good if we need to start very quickly those now uh, you should be there you are connected over here so let's put one of those there let's uh, remove this one no yes can i do it like that give me that um, uh, i can put it over there. that's fine this is fine this is connected you don't need to be there i think you can you can be like over there i hate that cable but whatever you don't need to be there you should be connected together these should be connected together hopefully this mostly uh, restoring the original setup those over poles okay i think that's fine and with that we have now 32 gigawatts and slowly we will slowly see how that uh, number is rising now i should put let's take those we have lots of Lots of white arab beacon now. <laughs> yeah, we are, but I think I will use them one day. And I don't need that in my inventory. I have too much construction drones. Whatever. And don't need that. Too much of those. To do, do. Hopefully. Too much those. Too much of rocket fuel. Lots of processing units. I don't need those right now. Batteries and empty barrels i don't know what for and yeah i almost forget one thing okay let's return that one and it's gone oh no it's over here uh, i will put another of those over here because that's the proper place for it uh, I didn't do anything with our spaceship, our 
the warrior will be soon rebuilt the middle section definitely and the engine parts also i just pump out all that ooh, all that antimatter steam so we have this one uh, slowly ready to be used these are some sort of producing more but it's mostly used for the production of that energy but because we are not using those uh, those turbines yeah they are mostly not producing anything i think we soon have enough of that to pump it into the new version of our spaceship why i have that many of speed modules nobody knows now what i want to do yeah i want to check those boxes delivery bo cannon boxes because they seems to have some damage lots of them why that's fine that's fine are you sending signal no this damage is caused by uh, delivery cannons which don't stop to sending the goods so show me where they are they are over here somewhere um there here they are okay we have those you should don't receive no they don't receive that signal so maybe it was the problem with electricity uh yeah but these are triggered by request not constant signals so they shouldn't uh, do anything like that that's weird okay <laughs> and we said 650 and now we have 687 so we have definitely enough space in those boxes for see now we are sending the signal okay and now we are not and this one still sending some of those that should be it yes okay this is still sending now it's in post mode stuck side why are you sending those stop now see they cause the damage so we have a little bit too much yeah, yeah. these cannons working like uh, if you send the request and this this cannon start to loading that delivery cannon it will be sent no matter what so yeah you need to force to stop in time before it start doing the damage and how we are doing with naquium or naquitai i hope the system is working some sort of yeah i see the ore it's coming even though there is nothing yeah books are empty and these are actually almost fully buffered okay uh -huh. this rocket how we are doing with the rocket parts because that was the choke point last time uh, or actually it was a choke point several times right uh, to keep up with the yeah i think we are fine i see a lot of those on the belt all those machines are in post mode so they are full and give me one of those here we can do that a little bit to use the belt for more things we have lots of yeah we have decent amount of those rocket control units how we are doing with 
Yeah, we are fine with copper mostly over here. We should, and we know that we should do something with that because this is a really old system in the future. But right now, I think I can postpone it a little bit. We still have some copper on belt so and these actually fully are full of copper and these belts are mostly full so this is producing enough to run all those uh, not fully but still enough to feed the, the demands okay there to uh, keep demands or up to our demands in space center to produce those rocket parts okay we have lots of lots of those we could do to, we can we could change those beacons to the space ones to even speed up that production of batteries but i think we could just replace soon this whole long uh, production line into few of those superior advanced chemical plants like three of those in the row i think produce even more than that and the advance, advantage of that that we can place in those better chemical plants more production modules so we can have even better production rate okay here is everything mostly working yeah we are keep uh, keep up uh, no we cannot keep up with the amount of those plates yeah an aquarium it's a very rare and really hard to get in decent amounts but let's forget about that now we should do maybe if we know it we don't know anything. We don't know the next year because it's already dead. Okay, what is holding us back? 65k of astronomical science packs? No. Blue uh, science over here. We have n enough of those. Actually, you don't need to have that many. Okay. We are not producing enough of the number one catalogs right now. Mm, yeah. Why is only the first machine turned on? Because this is not the first tier. Okay. Uh, we need to go even more back and I see that we are missing one of those yeah this one these cards are not produced in this amount why uh, yeah called thermal fluid it's missing over here and more more we don't have anything on more so we are fine with that we have the enough of those and of those you show me please some exclamation mark why oh not enough of warm Ooh. okay this is empty this is empty here is 100 yeah that should be actually not so bad there is not enough pressure in those pipes no these are the output pipes right yeah, no these are fine mostly fine okay show me that so it's also not so bad so what is your problem these are okay we don't have enough of that yeah we are not producing enough of that uh, cool thermal fluid even though we have a relatively decent amount of the minus 10 
first thing first, you shouldn't go back. So, give me that. Why is one of those? Okay. Let's start with the raising little bit of the pressure in the pipe. Maybe. So these are just balancing. Yes. I cannot use uh, anywhere uh, in the in between those things uh, pumps because it will definitely this uh, bridge that very fragile st system which can receive lots of that warm thermal fluid and give lots of the warm thermal fluid right now we don't need to produce more we have enough in those tanks okay now we are doing with pressure oh wrong pipe these are yeah we need more pressure in this one. And I don't know. Take some time to this uh, to balance that pressure in those but as you can see these are starting to showing some green signs which is good now these tanks you need another of those All those are working. Except this one, because this one is in the middle. Yes. Okay, it takes some. It takes some time to balance everything because we are using lots of the cool turbo fluid elsewhere. we even force yeah yeah that fluid to go uh, into those machines everything is up to those but the mo I can do a better better uh, speed modules or place some beacons between but uh, it's not a problem of production speed it's a problem of fluids again Okay, but right now I think we have enough of those to finish that one science tier and that rocket safety or whatever that is. 
and we are missing something else yeah we are missing those because our supply rocket it's not uh coming coming up here and that's because oh what is with my computer oh, that was weird okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes the problem was that i turned off that uh rocket okay Yeah, and I never finished that uh, that stop system over here. I still need to think about it. I have the stop system to stop the launch in the rocket. But I don't have the system for stopping the loading in case of case of uh, losing the signal from above and I know that I can do it but we need to do some switch some and and gate something like that from those uh, something like I don't know. I really don't know right now. I didn't think about it. Uh, I need to think in uh, between episodes because it's a little bit stressful to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I am not so smart <laughs> in very short time. So what else we can do over here? We're still waiting for those to be actually the uh, research. And I think we need to change our priorities right now. So, f actually, I cannot change our priorities right now, right? Do I need that? Yeah, I need uh, definitely this research. And yeah, we need that research. Okay, so it was set properly. Uh, okay, so then I can do those because we need to know. Ooh, supercomputer number four. Come on. We can even speed up the, the, the research, maybe. 76. We can. Uh, we can do that. 77. And yeah. Ooh, that's eating those cards like crazy. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think we will leave it for a while. Now we are doing with upgrade of those. Ooh. Slowly getting there. Slowly. Uh huh. Pipes are not enough, maybe. I don't know. We could even do some things like that in the middle. Save just only for this build some of that warm thermal fluid, which should help to distribute it between the 
slowly fill and then re erase the pressure in the pipes, I think. Definitely in the pipe. But I don't think this these are problem and here I see the most of those oh oops are working most of the time yeah um, everything is ab around that super cool thermal fluid if we produce enough of that it will leave some of that one minus 100 degrees Celsius thermal fluid for the rest of that belt okay I think we are producing the we are producing enough of those yeah they yeah, yeah, yeah we have enough of those over here right now I will cap that box again and we are don't need even those for anything else, so we are fine. And 98, okay. We are almost there, my friends. And again, we are out of those cards from ground you are loaded you have oh we are waiting for this fuel okay it's take just a, a little bit time to do it now if I do something with that I need to design. I will need two outputs, definitely. Uh, two inputs. And. Uh, no. How to trigger? I need like. The <laughs> I will need some flip-flop switch or something like that. Can I make it from those logistic parts? Um, and here it's go a rocket. Because I want one signal will be the normal signal from here. If we lose that signal, like in this case, I want to output something. And that output should trigger the switch between the normal signal and signal from these boxes which should uh, actually stop the loading but in this game can we do switching can i use constant combinator by can i turn on the constant combinator by triggering it or it's only the input thing who knows yeah, maybe I should use some mod for it, right? I think we have that. This is like... You know, this is, this is, this is, uh... And we have uh, almost everything done in instantly. Because the other, other, other research is so cheap. Uh -huh. And we are waiting for what in that? We are waiting for... 
Do, do, do. Yeah, deep space. Level one, level two. Oh, and I know what we should do between that. Like preparation for that next year. We need to rebuild the production of those uh, science packs. Could not be bring by robots. Actually, they can be bring by robots, but as we did in a normal, we have lots of those over here. Lots of lots of those. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where is that? Over here. We need to do. Give me that. Another. Give me that. We need to put uh, Yeah, of course you need that, that's fine. Let's move you there. Where are you? I need to do that setup as I have in I just bring another belt over here with those tier one and you shouldn't produce tier two. So we'll right now. Okay, we have lots of that. Let's place it over here. Okay now, let's remove you. Let's remove those. Please for now, then that, that's fine, everything, no, no not that scaffolding, oh, stupid fingers, I just want to, no, I need to do that, but let's do it more, ah, give me that, okay, so we have that, we don't need that, we should have first one, Over here, I think it's possible. God damn it. No, if I am in the way of that machine. So, first tier of those over here. For that, we will need. Some cool thermal fluid. That machine and some of that uh, neurogel. Uh huh. Something like that. We can connect it through there, and later we can continue a little bit far. Now, if I bring somehow over here those number one, number two, number three, and so on catalogs, I could fit another of those over here. Wait, number with that. I think I will have problems. No, this is output, so we don't have. We are not having a problems at all. So then the next one there. The five between with that. Ooh, that, for example, over here and. Of those, and then maybe continue now. Mm -mm -mm. What different fluid? I don't see any different fluid over there. How the...
Holzes. Ist... Oh. So one two gap. Okay. Okay, we need to do it with the gap. Otherwise they will connect together uh, like crazy machines. Yeah, this pipe madness. Definitely pipe madness like that. Fine, fine, fine. And you in that case. You will need something between to feed you the same thing on the other side. So that and that. What? Oh, my bad. So you need those vacuum plates. Mm -hmm. Why not? And the next thing is a white card and deep space level one. That, 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 and that's done. Now, the second one needs those cubes let's say 64 because they are stack at 8 so it's octal uh, let's count in octal those right now can i place one of those somewhere somewhere like here and here okay maybe and then this one is not under the Electricity problems. God damn it, let's place one of those over there. But everything is covered with electricity. Now we technically can produce those and those. We just need to do uh, something like that. No, we don't have place over there so filter on the first tier okay of those in and into that you can move of course now one of those one of those and a buffer thousand of these but that, like that and set request for I don't know 400 if there is a less then you will load those and we are out of okay we can easily put that over there and then we will continue after that robot for example or we put it a little bit uh, on different position in the next year with all that we could do output over here tier two and that tier two can be to, to do put right now directly in one of those later we can change it and up those like that and 1000 will be safe in that box and the same thing apply over here i actually put one two thousand of those directly in that machine uh, i still like more that uh, set up with inserter and request then the loader again 400 whatever no we have everything in terms of that now we are producing give me that we are producing those so we always receive 
the current one on this belt and the previous one over here. And for that we need to put another longer inserter, let's say, over there. That and now do I really want to do it like that? I don't think so. Uh, because these are quite uh, expensive and rare, I will just put those on the one side of the belt for now and I will be happy with that and tell me what I am doing I don't need those I should cancel all that, give me that we don't need that, we don't need that we don't even know need those and this should go on the other side here it goes, and then we can cancel all that, all that, all that, finally. I understand what I am doing here, right? We can cancel that production, everything seems to uh, becoming be a much, much simpler than that. Uh, X, uh, give me that. We shouldn't cancel those, the output belt. From here to there, don't need to be there. We need to extend this and bring it through this mess. Which is actually not so bad. Catalogs, catalogs. It doesn't matter right now, but it should be only on the one side of the belt. Here we go, uh, and actually right there because we don't need it further. Okay, let's have some of those. Do you need anything else? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we don't need to produce those over there. Give me that. Give me that, 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 that. Everything can go now. Except the part of our platform. Give me all those parts. I want those plates. These are very important. Oh. No. So it's even smaller production, right? Give you some of those plates. Why not? Actually, no. We can convert all those into. And I forget one thing. And that one thing is that I need to take one of those over here and then. Boom, boom. And you should do those and those. Help definitely wait. Yes. Okay. So now we are producing on the one spot. Uh, we are bringing those and those by robots. We have lots of those, but that's fine. And then soon we can move to the next tier, which we'll do in the next episode. Sorry guys, it's take me some time to 
fix all that. But what I can do be before we end... Oh, I can jump out of the platform. No. Uh, actually... Just want to take some of those on the belt. Okay, thank you. Oh. God damn it. And how we are doing with that? We are almost done. And we should know. Okay, why I see double cards for each type of science. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, I think I think the rubber bolt warned me. Okay. Uh so quickly. Ah. Mm. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ay, 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 ay. What the hell is a crossfire? Uh, that's look like uh, a really uh, fun to do it. Uh, nevertheless, I forget two things before I end. First one that I put lots of lots of uh, I put lots of lots of uh, rocket fuel into the. Barrels, and I should do something with that. Uh, especially, can you move? Yes, you can move. Especially, uh, to do something with uh, the full storage of those somewhere, maybe, possibly. Well, oh, over here, see. I need to recycle that rocket fuel, so this will be first task uh, before we end today. So you want uh, this barrel, like 50 of those, give me that. You want to pull, pour, or empty. The barrel, yeah, empty. Okay, like that. Sure. And we will use that to fill this rocket, for example. I don't know. Just to, we need to buy time, empty those things. Okay. Right, right, right. The second thing, and it was the. It is according to the Dominic uh, Bassa uh, command and advice. Uh, 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 what the hell is are these balls? And what the hell is a, a crossfire collector? So we need to... No, no, no. I will think in the next episode about that. Because this looks really... Oh, we have deep spin And what are the difference between those? These are very fast belts with different colors. Yeah, they are lighted by lamps, so they have different colors. Hooray! But actually... Uh, we need to start producing those, but these using superconductive super cable and nequium plate. And both of these uh, ingredients are very rare and very hard to obtain, so I don't think I will use them right now, maybe never. We have everything figured out with the normal belts, right? Yeah, uh, lasers, lasers, lasers. I want to do some production of those. 
Um, uh, I think we can do it directly down there. So, uh, we should somewhere have enough. Yeah, we are producing all new solenoids over there. So, I will put one of those. Sure, then this thing. And the rest can be bring by robots. So, input, output. One of those. There, there. Thank you, robot. And except that we have everything without problems over there. That I kept that box. And I hope that Dominic uh, mentioned these. But I don't see any other. We have rocket turret or railgun turret. But these needs, I think, ammunition, railgun shells or rockets. Even though we can put into those some nuclear ammunition. But yeah, yeah, don't be crazy, right? At least not that much. Okay, rare metal skimmer. Okay. You can be faster. Where is some of those beacons? Uh, over here. Okay, we have three. Uh, it's faster enough, I think. Or so. Uh, uh, there is some problems. Do we see anywhere some of those? I could do something like that. Can I put it over there? Yes. And then observe how this is dealing with the biters. So. Let's put those between, and because we have this blueprinted, we can then do something like that. And if we cover one of those sides of our base, we can definitely soon see some progress, some outcomes, some, no, something, something. You don't need to be there. So we will put some of those here. Here they are. And then now, where are our blue biters? Okay. Let's put even a few of those over here. And here I need to cancel the third row of normalizers. And replace those with the laser turrets. Okay. Let's use some future tech, right? It should be definitely why I put that over there. Because it's... What is your problem? Oh. This is definitely not up to normal... Uh, spacing of those. So let's put some of those by hand. You don't need to be there. Okay. But up here we should have at least few of those. I am really curious how much of energy they will draw during the fights. Okay, I see that mostly here will be needed lots of those. Okay, give me that blueprint. Oh! Okay. Nice. They have real long uh, reach or uh, they have really reach uh, because I place few of those over here and then can then ca then can cover that part of our base so I maybe don't need to place them so uh, so close together but 
you know, firepower. It's never a bad thing. So, yeah. More pew pew is always better, right? Over there and there. Yeah, here they will be needed. Okay. And slowly I will be adding more and more and more. And this part is still... Uh, this part is still... Uh, or not. Uh, our... Yeah. Until... Uh, over here. This is part... This is... Uh, I can talk. It's really... Maybe here we some, see some action. They are over the water. They are too far, I think. Thank you, to save. And I want to say it's a space center part of our base. Uh, so... Where's one of my terrain? Over here. Boom. Boom. Uh, I cannot run it. Oh, I need to use different slope. Different. So let's load like 50. Let's load those. Okay. One is on the way. I will stop the train for a while. And can I know? We have one. We should do it a little bit faster. Yeah, let's put that beacon for a while. And let's do definitely bigger request for those. We have enough. Except those, we don't. We need to save some of those. Here we go now. We should have those rare metals somewhere close, I think, in the box. These are over here. So maybe I should do. Another of those boxes to for distribution through the base over here, like that, and like that. There we go. Okay, that's definitely closer, I think, than the original distribution point. And here it's some of those. Did we already load? Ooh, 20. So, you are free to go. And... It was different train, I think. Oh, I don't know. And then... Where is it? Over here. We need one of those, one of those. Come in there, but... Thank you. Uh, whatever, all those. It's fine. And to do, do, do that. Um, yes. Yep. So not that many. I should use some cables to limit the output, but whatever. And here is the terrain, just in time. Load those, and the robot will take them and put them on this side of that wall. Ah, we have some over here, some over there. We have lots of those over here. So, we are definitely getting better with defense. And most of those are missing on the top part and over here. Uh, actually, the all part of the base, this part is mostly fine. Biters don't attack much over there. 
except the bottom part around the house. Uh, yeah, here it's a little bit worse, but otherwise it's fine. It's fine. Um, I will need to change those into these laser cannons. And so that's another task to do between the episodes, I think. One, this, this, okay, like that. Maybe we can squeeze another one over there, yes. And one over there without the. That. It doesn't matter much, maybe one there and two over here. Okay. And remove that one. And I just want to show you how effective these will be or not. That's the reason why I'm stalling the end of this video. Yeah, because anybody, everyone, everyone want to know. Are these are better? Or not? So I am waiting for this. Um, no, no, this is still too far from. <sighs> no. This is normal lasers. Human biters, you, okay, you constantly attacking my base, but right now, oh, oh, they are very effective. I see, because there was an attack, but a eh, over there. Mm hmm. So I think these are awesome. And thank Dominic to remind me or advise me to use them. Because now I maybe will finally have some peace without beeping sounds of constant. What the hell? Constant attacking biters. Uh, I definitely don't see what I'm doing. Uh, but it's fine. If we put some of these over here and over there, and then we will eventually find their targets, right? And I have too much of those, I don't need that one, that one. Okay, lots of those, I don't need that one, that one. Okay. So we have enough over here. Ah, here is some attack. And um, that's still, it's not covered part of our base, probably. Even though it's between these and these. So they could be definitely closer than everywhere else. No, no. Uh, the good old ones needs to deal with that. Oh, 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 okay. Now they was too. Okay. That's a really effective defense. Oh, here they are, here they are. Okay, and boom, 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 boom. And as they are going closer and closer, more and more lasers. Okay, that's a definitely way how to do it now I will need to do some of those over here and we will be peachy okay oh here is direct attack over the uh, and this wall have some of those already come on baiters yeah this is some future stuff okay so Another two armadas are trying to breach our walls. I have bad inform uh, bad things for you. Uh, okay, okay. So now we have decently different perimeters on some parts of our base. Oh, oh we're still waiting. Yeah, bad news, my dear biters. Not much food 
they can even touch the walls. That's nice. And you? What are you thinking? What are you think you are doing? Okay. Ooh, okay. This is Biter Annihilator 2.0, definitely, my friends. So, I will place some of those even around uh, the, these walls. Because right here, ooh, this is huge armada. A huge army of Biters. They are really pissed with my presence right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, after we place some of those, uh, it will be even more better. Mm, even more fine. Okay, I think it's time to end this video. It's almost one and a half hour. I am sorry, but it's it, it, it's a... Yeah, I didn't do episode more than two days, so I need to do a longer episode. So, it's a replacement for last two days off. Okay, and with that, uh, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy some part of this video. And if you, you enjoy some of this video, not my talking, uh, please leave a like. And see you in the next episode. Bye.